so in the last um in the last week um well i mean a, like a few, few weeks ago i did um take a I didn't really take a break i just i couldn't advance on the thing so uh now i'm going back to it uh we polished the the front plates so like what is not uh like salmon color right now pink whatever so i did those plates there a few more things to do um but these are all like the uh, the plates ready to for the the, the mid detail and whatnot. Uh, before we put any mid detail whatsoever, uh, we're gonna need to uh, start placing in some like in between things. But there's also some more like massive uh, meshes that we can take care of. The um, like I'm thinking like finishing what is not the arm, like maybe like leaving the shoulder to for later. Um, but this means that there's still like a, a few things to do here. The synthetic muscles, uh, this like cloth part here, cloth part there as well. So uh, yeah, a bunch of stuff, bunch of stuff. So let's uh, continue filling in. That's pretty much uh, what we're doing. Um, for the next uh, streams is just like placing all the fundamental uh, meshes so um yep let's let's get started Okay, so in this file will be, in this folder, I mean, everything that's like the new meshes for the body. Always keeping the head as like a, a benchmark. So the reason why I'm placing uh, this mesh right there is because it's based on this one here, and uh, it's going to be a repeat of uh, of shape in this area. So I'm just making sure that it actually influences the uh, the silhouette pretty much at the same uh, degree, but eventually it's going to be like a copy paste of this uh, mesh. So. So I want to make sure to be able to like that it's like the same size, right? And this includes also making sure that uh, it fits with everything else. So let's do a little test here and um, 
Let's push the mesh in. So here we're losing a lot of mass for this uh, part to fit, uh, which uh, it's not it's not preferable. Let's still uh, try to make with that. So we're gonna like push the mass and stuff. It's just it's going to change the um, the shapes a little bit, right? Which is not something we we want to do a lot. I'm pretty happy with the the proportions of the the blocking, so this is not something I want to like lose too much. But still, a little bit of adjustment uh, might not be uh, so bad. So let's just try to make it fit. Okay, then let's copy it on the other side. So now if we uh, switch between our blocking, uh, let's remove the arms. The blockings and the polish. Hmm. Yeah, no, it's a bit too uh, a bit too angular, actually. No. Sorry, give me a, just a second. Sorry about that. Okay, all right. Um, so yeah, what, what I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to try to get like a rounder shape. Um, so let's go back to, to here. I'll check the chat, but I'll wait in a second. Okay, so I'm gonna duplicate this as well. Gonna split. No. No, 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 I'm not gonna split. I'm gonna try, start by trying to get the, uh, 
the top thing to be just a little bit smaller. Oops, not in the... In symmetry. We're going to try to get the uh, the shape out of this uh, this disc. And one of the big aspects was the the roundness of this shape. So that. That's kind of like what I don't want to, to lose. So that's more like the roundness. Let's try to adjust the positioning a little bit. Because on the base mesh, it's not a uh, perfect uh, shape, right? So it's going to be hard to really uh, make it match, but it's so close that like I think it, it's... Um, I think it's doable. Okay, I feel that maybe that's the one. There's still some adjustment to do, but the um, 
Yeah. Around this is a little bit more there, and um, felt important for the shape, so I wanted to make sure it remains. Okay, now I think it, I just need to make it less. Um, Less extruded, if I can say that. Like bumpy. Oops. But I'm sorry, I haven't checked the, the chat yet. Um, I just want to get that one done here. You know what, I think that this is going to be okay. Let's uh let's roll with this one. I'm still gonna need like uh like a module on top. I'm gonna put something temporary in a oops. Come on. We're going to run that with a moment. So I'm probably going to finish the, um, the torso uh, mm, 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 just before the butt. So right here. So next stop would be... Uh, do I fill in the... Hmm. Let's add a mesh here. Weird. Oh, okay. I get it.
I'm just going to push the borders of this mesh a little bit. I'm going to do a close all. Just don't want it to like close on itself. Close all. Mirror and weld. Uh, let's um, mesh this mesh now. Let's clip brush this. And we're going to make place for uh, the mesh by pushing pushing the mesh in at All right, also, I promised to check the chat and I didn't do it. Uh, let's do it now. Um, hi, I know you're a business owner, but can you answer my question from the perspective of someone who is not a business owner and, uh, and works full time? Every day, I feel like I lose my motivation to work on my personal projects for hours in ZBrush like I used to. I used to. How do you find the motivation to work? What are you? What are the things that motivate you? Uh, it's uh, funny you're asking me this question because uh, I am currently living what you're living. I'm uh, kind of like uh, like drained right now. A lot of stuff happening in my life. It's taking a lot of uh, of juice. Uh, I need to do my my daily stuff. So uh, just uh, just know at least you're not alone with that. I'm currently in that phase. Um, lately it feels like it's happening to me like once every year, sometimes lasts a little while. Um, so yeah, maybe because like life can, uh, life can get to you. A lot of stuff can happen. So it absolutely happens. Uh, don't worry about that. It's absolutely normal. Uh, I'd say that probably, um, one of the thing also to do is, uh, not to force yourself to do something you don't want to do. Like it's okay to not feel motivated. Uh, just give you some time. Go do something else that you like. You like to do. Um, I mean, doing your job is doing your job, though. Uh, if you have contracts to fill and that sort of stuff, uh, that you kind of like need to push through, I'd say. But uh, just be honest with yourself, and even if you need to take a break, let your employer know that you are going to need a break. But uh, otherwise, uh, the um, when it's about like your personal work and that sort of stuff, it's it's fine. Just take a take a break. Just um, find your inspiration again. Uh, just try to like maybe think about why you're you're feeling this way. Maybe um, maybe you're just not feeling it right now. And like I said, uh, it's absolutely it's absolutely okay to not feel it right now. Uh, ditto, I work four days a week and I have a part-time job. I think I'll need a sabbatical and seek mentorship. Uh, by the way, that mech looks amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, mentorship, I maybe, I guess. I don't know. I, I think really it's just a great, well, at least if I'm projecting myself into it, like I think it's uh, especially it's a question of uh, just maybe you need a break. And then maybe you're like forcing yourself or you have expectation on yourself that like, oh, you need to produce art and that sort of stuff. But just like having your job and taking some time on, on the side is, is it's absolutely fine. 
sometimes the, the expectation that we have or that we give to ourselves uh, are what actually like destroy our motivation. Um, hey Marco, I love your exploration that you and Cedric make. So in terms of sci-fi aesthetic, how do you think that the future quantum technology could portray, could be portrayed? I have zero fucking idea. <laughs> Sorry, this is going to be a, a boring one, but like, I, uh, have no fucking clue about that one. Sorry. <laughs> Hey everyone, uh, you strike a good balance of form and function. I like how it's stylized, but feels fairly grounded with detail. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm happy that you're, uh, that this answer can resonate with you. Dego. Dego Greco. All right, a little sip of coffee.
All right, let's just create the, um, the cloth part now. So the cloth part is disconnected. Uh, well, there's a seam here. I could actually extend it to the, the very bottom. It's going to start to do a lot of mesh. So I'm going to uh, really use the seam here to create a uh, full disconnection. Uh, that being said, I'm going to keep it at the back here like that. Uh, let's use that new that new thing. Well, it's not that new anymore, but um, what's it again? Mask, um, like fill. Hmm. That was mask region. Eh, you know what? Fuck it. Just changing the poly groups, it's going to be enough. Ooh, actually, it is not. Let's go back to the mask, do a reverse mask. There we go. Boom. There we go. Now oh, let's undo here because I want to keep my groups. But I want to have the mask. Oh, wait. Do I really want to keep my groups? No, that doesn't matter. Just need to trim a little bit more of the border. Something like that should be good. Move some excess. All right, that's good. Do we have another um, cloth part to do at the same time? Yeah, I got the top here. Okay, let's keep it on the side for the moment. Let's go and do this one too. So we're going to keep this, maybe sh ungrow the selection a little bit. Keep this. Hmm. I 
Dynamesh might be needed to uh, to get a proper uh, get good results here. So I'm going to close hole on this. I'm going to do a Dynamesh while keeping the polygroups. Oh, let's push the border a little bit more before doing that, because I'm going to get artifacts. Okay, let's do it manually. So to avoid to have um, artifacts on the edges. Okay, that should help now. that uh, let's dynamish this keeping the polygroups oh, and of course oh, of course let's back up <laughs> oh boy okay it just doesn't want to work let's try um i said remesh simple that remesh then Love that I announced the sip of coffee. Well, you know what? There's another one for you. Oh, cool. I think this is the best uh, channel for ZBrush on Twitch. That's really cool, man. Thanks. Uh, by the way, have you ever thought about tutoring for cash? Uh, yes, but I do not have the time. It's not a question it wouldn't be worth my time it's more a question that uh i do not have said the time mm -hmm. And the um, algorithm's not really uh, working, eh? That's what I was afraid of. It's, that's because it's like so busy in this area here. So uh, you know what? We're there's no shortcut for this one. We're gonna need to do it uh, the long way, unfortunately. Um, which is like part of like what I did at first. It's just we're gonna need to remask it once we're done. Like the technique is valid, it's just wanted to avoid to, to do it, trying to find like a more automated way of doing it, which uh, did not work. So let's go for once again, close hole, mirror and weld. So mirror and weld on the opposite. Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's uh, dynamish this while keeping the uh, the groups. Now let's delete that. But that's the catch, is that we have to remask things now. That's what I, what I was trying to avoid. Uh, let's use depth mask. This way we uh, don't get the... When we mask, we don't mask the borders. So adding some depth on the, on the mask brush.
All right, deleting that, and we'll polish, and then this should now work. Boom. Perfect. Uh, let's do another one. Because the mesh is just a bit weird in some areas. There was also some floater mesh that was that were affecting the algorithm. There are still some floater mesh, it seems. There you go. All right, cleaner mesh, that's good. So let's inflate it, give it back its shape. Oh, it should have continued here, actually. Let's do an extrude. a few loops just so that I have uh, Doing well for this part here.
the um where like the the cloth was going and connecting was that super precise in the uh, the blocking so um i do kind of like have to um to kind of define more like the borders of that mesh in the the polish uh which is fine it's part of it's part of the work So we're going to try to go with that for the top. Now for the bottom here, uh, there is a bit of a some weird stuff happening here. If it's like not corrupted mesh, but like artifacts and stuff, I I'd rather just delete it to not create problems. But um, Yeah, it's just it feels a bit weird. It's going to be hidden under the strap, so it's not like a big worry. You can probably try to just like wing it, I guess. Um, so here there's a uh, seam line. If we are going to... We're going to use to kind of like create like an elevation here in the cloth. Bit of a weird um, end for the, the, the edge right there. Ah, we'll compose with that, that's fine. here not really possible to clean here so we're gonna have another weird edge
here in mesh a little bit here again. Nothing too problematic though. So there's a lot to be careful with the shape of this uh, of this mesh here, so it's clean. And that's why I'm going all around making sure it like follows the surfaces and the um, the silhouette. The inside of the shape is kind of like getting lost. I might need to reproject it a, a little bit, or I can just like fix it during the polish. But Oh, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll try to reproject. To do that, I'll actually clone the mesh. And um... wait. Oh, wait, no, there's something I want to fix here first about the design. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I think this is going to be good, so let's go and try to give it some uh, some width. Oh. oh, yeah, put a layer on. All right, so let's smooth that out. Ooh, Monthly Row rating. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.
Yeah, I think I'll do have to um, check the, the chat real quick now. Give some context to what's happening here. Also. So we're working on a um, robotic character uh, based on this blocking right there. So I'm just reproducing everything but in polish right now. Trying to get around this level of polish to on the right. Currently in the process. The head is done though. Um, Benjamore, you're asking if this is going to be archived. Um, yes, it will be on YouTube uh, after we're done with, uh, like, uh, I think in a week or something. Uh, you can go to the bottom of the screen. All our social medias are there, and you'll find the YouTube. It will be uploaded there eventually. Um, so, yeah. Hey, everyone. Thanks for joining in. Uh, Monthly Euro, thanks again. That is... Uh, very generous. I appreciate it. Welcome to the stream, everyone. A little sip of coffee for all of you. Yeah, there's actually something I wanted to do uh, here with the, uh, well, hmm. I want to work on like giving it some shape so it feels like there's something underneath the, the clothing right so this is going to be important for the uh, for the look the style Gonna have to reduce the intensity of my smooth brush because I'm working with um, Venomix subdivision right now, and so it's like acting like very uh, intensely. I want to dig this part in. I'm going to need to There we go. So now like this piece of cloth is like inserted in. 
And let's move it here. Let's move it to the edge. It's going to be hard to do that without uh, committing the subdivision. Like I should have like probably uh, just add an edge instead of like doing this. Huh? I don't know if it's going to smooth it too much if I actually just do like a Z remesh. Oof. You know what? It's pretty good. We actually fixed it and it didn't lose its uh, shape, so that's perfect. Perfect. That's what I wanted, that's what I wanted uh, to do. Right. Okay, I feel like this the shape should be probably good. Uh, let's go on the bottom here. Um, Marco, work is an insane bro. I really love it. Thank you so much. Uh, greeting from Colombia. Hello. Uh, dude looks awesome. Thank you. Same. You are one of my favorite sculptor. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hey, do you listen to music when you stream or sculpt? Uh, yes, right now there's music in my ears, but uh, I've stopped putting it on the stream because um, I was not able to make everybody happy with that. So uh, now I just welcome people to open Spotify at the same time as Twitch and putting the music that they that they desire at the volume that they desire. So now that we see the, the, uh, the thickness, I can actually really um, work with the thickness level that I need. For what I'm trying to accomplish. I think at this point also I'm going to, um, or wait, no, next step. On the next step I'm going to get rid of the uh, I 
of the the the, the blocking that's uh, under. Alright, in terms of the thicknesses and everything, seems to be acceptable. So, um, let's go and merge both parts. Try to give it some smoothing now. Question is, should I keep one crease level? No, we can uh, leave it... Uh, Increased. Or you know what? No, just to for better visibility, I'm gonna leave the crease, just so I know that like my my edges are smooth. I'm actually gonna use a uh, smooth directional to uh, smooth the edges, and uh, I'm gonna need to smart resim or um, mirror and weld after because. Um, smooth directional uh, never works in symmetry. Like the other side will be kind of like a bit like fucked up. But it's really good for for um, fixing the uh, the cleanliness of an edge. So uh, hence why I still use it. So you see, once it's done, just mirror and weld. The other side will be as clean now. Uh, same for here. Although this one, this one didn't really need cleanup, so we're all good already. Um, okay, so I'm soon going to commit. Um, we're going to erase the inside faces. They're not going to be useful. I'm just going to keep like uh, one or two edges like this. Delete the rest. Oops. Delete. Uh, remove the crease. And now we're going to apply subdivision. Um, and, 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 and now I will go on the blocking, get rid of what's under. Uh, let's also first give it maybe a um, Polygroup. A polygroup, sorry, polypaint. So here I already have the mask, so that's perfect. I can just like start pushing that in.
Um, but um, any suggestion on free 3D sculpting programs? Uh, Blender, that'd be the one. Uh, one 3D artist. Hello. Uh, how do you treat points that can be formed when you increase subdivision levels? How do you treat points that can be formed? I am not sure what you mean. Sorry. What kind of points? You mean like stars? So now that we are um, in higher subdivision level, I'm going to actually kind of like really put the um, like angles, angular parts where I wanted them to be. So there is like an indentation here that I will recreate. So first let's just like really smooth it out. go now the indentation is cleaner uh, a few more like so like there's going to be a seam right uh right here it's not going to be super clean right now because i'm missing the resolution to do so but it's i'm just using it as a um like a placeholder at the moment Since the plates exist under the cloth, they should be kind of like responding to uh, the deformations, the layering, basically. So that's what I need to go and make sure that I conserve. There's going to be some like folds as well and whatnot. We're not at this stage yet, but.
I always keep a Stormwolf target to clean up. Uh... Some part that like I might have uh, made a mistake with. Yeah, it's really about like faking that there's something under the the layer here, and uh, yeah, it works well. So uh, there we go. Let's run with that. At least for the the bottom part. For the top part here, let's uh, just uh, go around quickly. Um, hello, yes, when stars are in the topology, sometimes I come across strong pinch when I increase subdivision. Well, for example, on um, on the breast area here, there was a few of these stars here. Uh, what I do in ZBrush is um, that once I um, apply subdivision, I just go, like, let's say I was to the one, I go to two, and I do a smooth relax, which is pressing shift, and while you're smoothing you remove your finger from the button shift it does the the smooth relax and it actually does like spread apart the the star so you do it to level two then it'll to level three and by then uh it should actually remove uh the um the star basically
Yeah, I don't think I'm going to need much too much on the, the 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 higher part here. It's um... it's already looking good. All right, I think uh, I think we'll run with that. Boom! Awesome. So we got these that are now added. It's one more piece. Um, Let's uh, insert some more pieces in there. There's the old like front section here that's going to be kind of like the bottom layer. It's going to go up to here. We're going to need like a mesh for that. Plus, with what's happening here, it's going to be like the connector of like everything here. Uh, before we do anything else, let's uh, save. Hey Marco, how is it going? Finally see you working in real time. There we go. There we go, Igor. Oops, Jesus. Oh, I once again have to change the freaking uh, the diffuse on that mesh. There we go. So that the metals shine brighter. Okay, so I think I'm going to create the match just for the, um, this, like, little section here. Uh, 
question is, should I use this for everywhere? As the bottom, because here is, there's going to be more detail. So no, I think I'm going to split in parts. Push the border in because we're going to do another close hole, mirror and weld, dynamish. Oh, we didn't push enough. See from the uh, center part here. But right off the bat, we're going to need one of those um, thingies here. Did I create a... Um... Plug, yeah, okay. I'm not going to necessarily start detailing right now. I just want to give me like a bit of the impression of where I'm going with that thing.
Let's create like a little like grid thing real quick. So we're going to sub subdivide this until we have the size of square that we need, which is going to be probably this. Let's keep just this face. Now let's um, inset everything. Uh, inset uh, all each polygons. There you go. At Yeah, I think this the holes could be a bit smaller. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this even bigger. So divided one more time. Oh, I think that's gonna be way too small now. Even bigger. Set one more time. Yeah, looks about good. There's a lot of like useless stuff here, but uh, we'll keep it for the moment. So this is going to be the underlying layer, right? Push that in. Let's keep like something over like that.
I was saying I was not going to do any detailing, but I'm in a, I'm <laughs> kind of like designing stuff right now. So yeah, layering layering stuff on on top of the other is actually a good way to um to create like a certain like richness in design. Um and you see like just by like pushing things in and out like this layering can be achieved. It's it's very easy and and it's um it's a trick that's always been um helping me with my designs. So I encourage you to, um, to experiment with that as well. I think we'll uh, leave it to that with this section for the moment, moment and then we'll work on the integration with every part later. Wellington, hello, hello. All right, we're starting to get near the end of the stream. Yeah, to be honest, there's part of me that like I'm not super satisfied by the the speed at which like things are going because we're in a phase where we're installing all of the like the fundamental blocks. And it's, um, I personally find it, uh, not the most entertaining thing. Like I'm having fun. I like to do like this process, but it's not the most entertaining. And part of me feels like I should be delivering more entertaining, uh, things but at the same time. I mean, Hey, you know what? That's the nitty gritty. That's part of it. So I'm, um, yeah, like I'm, I'm conflicted in between trying to provide good content, but showing really what things are and how to get your, your foundation correctly in. Ultimately, I think that the, the right thing is to show everything. So I'm happy that uh, you guys are sticking, sticking, um, sticking with me in that process. And at some point I'll ah, I'll be um I'll come down with the good stuff. Oh, I never uh, deleted the uh, the back face of those meshes here. You know what? I'll do it now. Because uh, you're not going to need that. Just one edge. Delete. Reconstruct.
some of it is dynamesh, so we're not going to delete it right now. The inside faces. So there's going to be the synthetic muscle. There's going to be the cloth over the synthetic muscle. There's also a couple of like gray bowls to place here and there. Straps. Straps and gray bowls. Now we're starting to get into detail. The synthetic muscles are a bit more like important. Uh, like maybe like a piece like this here is also is going to be important. I feel like um would be nice to be able to find like just like something to place here and to like to kid bash here basically you know let's see if we can't uh, find something real quick if it means anything i am very entertained well that's cool yep i appreciate hearing that uh, i think most of us are here to learn in the first place and only to and the only to be entertained and the only to be entertained okay okay I uh, really love your sci-fi models. So beautiful. Thank you. Okay. Um, let's just like straight straight up go and check like uh like some IMMs, uh good old Vitaly Bulgarov meshes. Maybe you can just bring back this grid as well. kind of like give it like a oops nope rotate there you go like some curve mm, not really not really working out well Maybe just like a straight curve.
straight up we're going to delete part of it because it's just going to be in the way. Uh, there's going to be further adjustment needed to make it fit with the um, the look of what we currently have, but uh, it's on its way. We need to figure out like a, a way to mesh all of that together, but uh, I feel like we're going to be able to find a way to make that fit, so that's good. Hello, Pistol Pete. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, so we're gonna work work on the connection of everything uh, next time. Next time we're probably also going to um, work on the synthetic muscle, adding them, uh, like this portion here, this portion here, maybe adding the straps, the little green ball and stuff. I have a feeling that by next stream we're probably going to be able to have all the uh, like the foundations for the um, the torso part, which is pretty good. It's going to feel good to have all of that there. Maybe I'll even um, polish the torso before like starting the arms and everything like last time. That could be uh, one way of going, uh, going at it. All right. Um, yeah, that'll be it. That'll be it for today. Uh, thanks for everybody for joining. And um, the uh, like I said, I think next time we're going to be good. We're going to have uh, done uh, like a chapter and on to like another like type of process, the detailing, that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, I'm still really happy with this character here. It's um, yeah, I'm really happy with this character. I'm really looking forward to have it. Uh, to have it done but it's um little by little especially when you work only two hours per week on it <laughs> anyways um once again thank you so much for everyone and uh i'll see you next week all right